The places we come from aren't the same. The life we know of changes every day. We had some fun times and some bad, yet we still found middle ground to pave the way. Sometimes it weren't bad, and we made some cracks, but we found a way back, so we'll leave it at that. This ninth grade dancer has worked incredibly hard this year. She's created movement standing on her couch. She served as a leader in the ninth grade class and has her camera on each day ready to dance. She's grown a lot in her movement, becoming more confident in the intention and being able to try on new styles, fitting them to her own. The pandemic and learning from home hasn't seemed to slow her down at all, even on tough days. Her own piece this year has incredible emotion and depth and has challenged her cast to rise to a level of technique not commonly seen in underclassmen pieces. In one of her assignments this year, she decided to challenge herself by doing fouette turns in gym shoes on concrete. She's come so far in dance and performance this year, and I can't wait to have her back in the building trying on Sam Hall stage for the first time. You have really stood out this year, Andrea Fuentes. Congratulations on all of your growth and hard work. You are the Sundance ninth grader of the year. First years. When you auditioned for Sun Arts a year and a half ago, we all envisioned a completely different experience together. In many ways, we still haven't had the chance to do the things we signed up to do. Nevertheless, it has been amazing to get to know you, and I am so grateful for the parts of yourselves that you have allowed us to know in class. The first year student award for Sun Arts Music is a champion communicator with a polite demeanor sending 58 emails so far, beginning with, Dear Mr. Nicholas. They are quick to volunteer to help anyone, even when the task is difficult or time consuming. They were the first musician to turn it in their IHSA competition video this year and had clearly put in many days of hard work and preparation on the piece. Holding the record for the student with the most time spent with their camera on, their willingness to engage in this way gave our classes some human connection to hold on to through the days of remote only learning. Ilana, we are so grateful for your examples of being committed to your daily work, your kindness, and being present. Thank you. Well, hello. This year's recipient of the 2021 Sen Arts First Year Theater Ensemble Student of the Year is a person of many talents. Some of their accomplishments include performing in ASM Sen Arts Music Theater Workshops productions of We're Here and Working, also serving as dance captain and serving as an alternate for the August Wilson monologue competition preliminary round to represent Sen. In addition, this student always comes to class with a positive attitude, is almost always the first to turn their camera on when learning remotely, has a curious mind, solid work ethic, and supportive giving spirit. I'm looking forward to all that they will achieve in the next three years. I'm so pleased to announce this year's Sen Arts First Year Theater Ensemble Student of the Year is Nina Mellitz. First years, your group has brought me so much joy this year. Your energy, hard work, and enthusiasm, despite most of you never having stepped into the building before, is inspiring and has made me learn so much about what is possible when it comes to feeling connected to others in virtual school. I feel so lucky that I get to teach you all again next year. I know that you, you will all continue to amaze and be kind beacons of support and goofy energy. Each one of you deserves to be recognized and appreciated, so this was difficult. This person is the definition of a positive mental attitude and pours good energy into our space. They are a mood changer, funny, playful, and aware. 
They are mindful of everyone and work hard to make others feel heard, recognized, encouraged, and cared for, which is no small feat in virtual school. They are a thoughtful communicator and intentionally build relationships with students, teachers, and staff. They are also extremely thoughtful about ideas in their art making and really care about getting things just right. They are reflective in their making process and always seeking to grow. When they are not present, they are missed. This person has made our group feel like a family and I honestly cannot imagine what this year would have been like without them. I have so much gratitude for you. The first year of the year award goes to Lennon Gonzalez! <laughs> Woo! <laughs>could I possibly say about this 10th grader? This dancer is one of the most reliable people I've ever had the privilege to know. She volunteers her time to be in service of others, whether it's helping ninth graders submit videos on classroom for the first time, running an audition workshop for eighth grade prospective students, or being a part of the Sun Arts Student Advisory Committee. She's created her first piece this year, working with a cast online to learn beautifully crafted contemporary work. She serves as a mentor to ninth and 10th grade students while still staying humble and excited to learn. She's one of the only dancers saying yay when I announce planks and conditioning at the start of class. She's generous and kind, artistic and funny, prepared and growth oriented. My absolute favorite is when I get to ask her to be a creepy character in a class combination. No one gets into it as much as you, Hannah Rose. Thank you for all of your hard work this year. I can honestly tell you that remote learning was easier because I knew that we could count on you to help us. Congratulations, Hannah, on being the Sun Dance Sophomore of the Year. Sophomores, hey, you all know how to throw a YouTube party when given the DJ reins. My understanding of music genres has expanded under your tutelage, for which I am usually grateful. You are one rad, thoughtful, and talented crew. You have been super patient as your music instructors have tried many different experiments while trying to find a way forward during remote learning. The sophomore Sun Arts Music Student of the Year has gone above and beyond to take artistic risks and stay committed to musical growth. Their work stands out among Sun Arts students for its quality and consistency, and their commitment to personal and musical growth shines through. They took new risks through weekly vocal lessons and joining the team for the 2021 IHSA State Vocal Competition. In every one of their artistic endeavors, they manage to create thoughtful, articulate, and meaningful products, whether by sharing their voice to create beautiful music or by sharing their words on paper. Thank you, Ali, for being a constant in a year of inconsistencies. This year's recipient of the 2021 Sen Arts Sophomore Theater Ensemble Student of the Year has grown so much in the past year, even though we have been working remotely. This person took every note and worked so hard on their monologue that they were chosen to represent the Sophomore Theater Ensemble in the 2021 August Wilson Monologue Competition in the preliminary round. The student also has an easygoing personality that has made them a fast favorite among their ensemble. Their great sense of humor and goofy personality has helped their ensemble and me get through a rough year of remote learning. And their dedication to their art and support for their ensemble has not gone unnoticed. I'm so happy to award the Sophomore Ensemble Student of the Year Award to Tobin Schiller. That first time was worth everything. Sophomores, what an awesome group of creative, intelligent, and kind-hearted artists. 
As always, but especially this year, it's been a challenge to decide on just one of you to hand this sailboat to. Speaking of sailboats, I can't wait to meet all of you in person <laughs> next year. Your first assignment of your junior year, can you believe it, will be to come find me and we can play the Guess Who I Am game. <laughs> Seriously. I am so proud of each of you. This has not been easy. So, after some stewing, we made a decision. We often tell you all to start by making lists. So I did the same thing. Here's a short list of words that come to mind when I think of this year's recipient. Enthusiastic, passionate, communicative, prolific, experimental, curious, funny, kind. This artist always goes above and beyond what is expected. Ask for one, they make five. They are so serious about and committed to this practice. They put in the time, which is so truly evident when looking at their in-progress and completed pieces. And somehow they're always singing and asking questions and making jokes and cheering on their classmates and just seem to be genuinely enjoying the process of not always having all of the answers, not always being perfect. But instead, it's about living for the practice of making for this sophomore of the year. Big congrats to Erica Obua. Thank you for being you. This dancer works diligently every year. Our junior has served as a choreographer both in person and remotely in her years of Sundance. This year, deciding to create a sassy jazz piece in the hopes to spread more joy. She knows every piece she's taught, never having to go back or ask a choreographer to review. She's observant and detail oriented, and some days I'm really not sure how she balances it all. She's come so far in the three years she's been dancing here, and she so serves as a role model to our company. Dancers know that they can ask her for anything choreo, videos, help in other academic classes. She's also very involved here at SEN. She serves the community by being one of the two students who are part of the diversity, equity, and inclusion team. And together, she, teachers, and other admin work to make SEN even better than it is. She is also on the HOPE squad, providing emotional support to peers who need it. She's truly a rock star as an artist, but even more importantly, she's a fantastic human being. Emily Sanchez, we are so lucky to have you. Congratulations on being the Sen Arts Junior of the Year. Hey juniors, I'm Ms. McKinstry and I get to announce the Sen Arts Junior Award. This year it's going to Carla Berry Esteban. One of the biggest challenges for a musician is staying disciplined by doing the work while remaining flexible as new and interesting techniques are applied. During one of the most challenging years any of us has ever experienced, Carla Berry Esteban has managed to do just that by staying consistent and focused through the chaos. She has shown great growth in her AP Music Theory course where students learn the mechanics of music this year. Carla's caring and positive attitude have shown through even in an online setting. Her musical vocabulary has grown this year and we can't wait to see what she will create next on her musical journey. Congrats, Carla. This year's recipient of the 2021 Sen Arts Junior Theater Ensemble Student of the Year is noted for their commitment to their art. They are always using what they have learned from class to make their performances better, and that has gained them a solid reputation as a hardworking actor among their peers. They are always ready to go, eager to work on their performance and looking for ways to make their work better and more grounded in themselves while still challenging their work. This work allowed this junior to be selected from a competitive ensemble to represent Sen at the August Wilson Monologue Competition preliminary round. This student's style, kindness, and sass make them unique and at home in our junior ensemble. 
sometimes operating a little under the radar, it's time we acknowledge all that this junior ensemble member brings to the table by awarding Demi Davis the Junior Ensemble Student of the Year Award. This has been quite a year. I'm really proud of all the juniors for the quality of the work that they created while at home, for the variety of ideas they explored and for the growth that they allowed to happen. Although most of us would of course rather be in person having a normal year, uh, I would not want to have gone through this with a different group of people. Thank you. Now for the winner of the junior award. This person is truly one of the most reflective people I have ever met. Their growth throughout this program and this year has been exponential. They excavate their thoughts, brush them off, form something solid that can be looked at from upside down, behind or through. They then dig deeper and let discussions and questions form a varnish. They are someone who is generous with their community, giving time, space, and words when looking at the work of others. They are insightful and open. They are a true artist. We are excited to see where you go next year and beyond. The Junior Sin Arts Award goes to Brendan Lovestad. <laughs> This senior dancer has impressed me from the first time I met her, her sophomore year. She is reserved and kind, hardworking, and an absolute choreographic force. She served as a choreographer several times in her Sundance career, each time creating standout pieces that are unique and interesting. I've regularly watched her trying to learn from her movement vocabulary and adopt it into my own. Her use of tiny accents in the music that the rest of us can barely hear. She is humble and tenacious, quietly committing herself to her work each day. She has been vulnerable and brave in her intentions and her pieces, especially this year, especially with small spaces. And she's worked super hard to grow as much as she has. Tanya Chamorro, you are outstanding and you impress me daily. Congratulations, Tanya, on winning Sen Arts Dance Senior of the Year. This year, artists have spent a lot of time creating art in spite of the circumstances. Zoom jams, Zoom concerts, virtual bands and choirs. But what's been super inspiring about this particular senior is the way that they have used um, their art to respond to the circumstances. I think in a lot of ways that's what art is all about. This person uses their art also to connect with their peers. Additionally, they connect us all with their sense of humor, their reliability, and their approachability. In this way, the senior is not only cohesive, but also acts as an adhesive, holding our community together when it would be so easy for us to fall apart. I've been immensely grateful for the way the senior has fed our community this year, but I would be remiss not to mention all of their individual achievements as well. Maybe not all of them, let's start with some. These include soloing um, and jazz composition workshops with Victor Garcia during jazz combos, uh, songwriting competitions, leading the class through band warmups, uh, and a variety of personal artistic endeavors involving songwriting and mixing and producing. I've been so very inspired all year long at this person's seemingly endless artistic curiosity and energy. I also hope that you find time to recharge that energy too, right? For all the times that I have heard, not sure, ask Ife, even from my own mouth, I say thank you and congratulations, Ife Ajayi. This year's recipient of the 2021 Sen Arts Senior Theater Ensemble Student of the Year Award has always been a consistent part of the ensemble who has grown so much through their determination and curiosity over the past four years. 
Some of their accomplishments just this year include a rank one on their monologue performance at the 2021 Chicago Youth Theater Fest, auditing acting classes for the city's advanced arts theater program, and co-writing the Senior Showcase's production of New Beginning. The student is one of the most responsible artists I have worked with. They are a welcome grounding presence during what has been a turbulent couple of years with their easy smile, good natured humor and positive energy. They are one of the main reasons our senior ensemble has evolved into the amazing theater community they have become because they never gave up on all we and they could be. It's time that we acknowledge all you have contributed to our community over the years Kevin Camacho, congratulations on becoming the Sen Art Senior Theater Ensemble 2021 Student of the Year. What? Me? What exactly do you mean? All right, seniors, this is Weiss. What a year. Last spring, when we were figuring out together how to navigate online school, I certainly did not think I would still be talking to you through a screen. I do feel lucky that we came together as a community over the last year. If we were in Sen Hall, I would be projecting our silly group screenshots of what learning and creating looks like from home. Thank you for your patience and flexibility as we figured it out together. I am so proud of all of your hard work your ability to stretch, to persist in your ideas, and the risks you've taken to become the artist you are today. Your artwork, your college acceptances, and the scholarships are proof of all of that. As always, it's never easy to choose, but this artist stands out. This senior is able to envision in many formats. They are a creator in drawing, painting, printmaking, fibers, clothing, and makeup. They always have their hands in a mess of art materials, this year, their command station in the basement served as a space to delve deep into research, to formulate ideas for their own work, and to be prolific in creating. The student is kind to others and wants to help their classmates grow as artists. They listen and give supportive yet critical feedback. A merit-based scholarship will support this very deserving student in their pursuit of thinking, researching, and definitely creating next year at the Milwaukee Institute of Art and Design. I am honored to give this year's Sen Arts Senior Award to Penelope Padilla. Congratulations.
music nominee for the spirit of sen arts award is a force for positive change in our school city and world we are so grateful for their thoughtful innovations in including members from the whole send student body into art centered conversations throughout their four years at sen they gave consistent effort in preparing dozens of performances across the city and always strove to finish assignments in a thorough caring manner it has been an absolute joy to witness their deep care for others in offering kind words of encouragement or a passionate defense of others through publications speaking at LSC meeting entering difficult conversations in class or quick responses and rebuttals in the virtual classroom chat we are so glad that they are able to recover from the initial shock of the pandemic through finding joy in the small things in life according to the Chicago Tribune we were able to blaze a brand new trail of inclusion in sense music scene while the rest of the quarantine world was watching tiger king they were plotting their pandemic takeover of the send music department this once social media guru of the vocal ensemble has now become the founder writer and editor of a revolutionary arts journal the sound spaghetti music journal the this student is brilliant for creating this music journal to reach out to the whole community of send and chicago to make music communities more accessible to people who aren't performers the spirit of send arts award for music is isabella chamberlain This senior theater ensemble member has been a steady, enthusiastic, and energetic presence for all four years. She quickly became known for her engagement, passion, and interest in social justice among her ensemble members. It is this passion that ignites her artistry with fiery performances every year in the ensemble's August Wilson showcases, which earned her trips to preliminaries and semifinals in the August Wilson monologue competition. Her performance of Ruth from A Raisin in the Sun in this year's senior showcase is also among her noteworthy performances demonstrating that her passions go beyond theater she has also been involved with the chicago children's choir performing with notable performers such as chance the rapper in addition to this in addition this ensemble member has been deeply committed to the sen community with her involvement in senior planning and creating spaces for addressing issues of social justice she has a lot to say and is unafraid to say it but we'll also seek opportunities to give voice to anyone who seeks the microphone. The Sen Arts Theater nominee for the Spirit of Sen Arts this year is Allie Bridges. This person is enthusiastic to the core and does not get discouraged. Confident in their uniqueness. Loves and appreciates their family so much. Volunteers for everything. kind to the max, a cheerleader for everyone and a friend to all, has a genuine curiosity in books, art, science, everything. Can walk down the halls reading books but saying hi to everyone along the way while somehow keeping track of what they're reading. Advocates for themselves by asking questions and asking for feedback when needed. Openly speaks about mental health and the importance of self-care. Can always be counted on to advocate for, recruit and talk up Senarts. This person is the coolest and we are so lucky to have them on our team. The visual arts team is proud to nominate Jax Sigaroa Antiveros for the Spirit of Sen Arts. Thank you. 